Hey, foodies and frugal finders. Ever wonder where you can get a mouth-watering meal in Las Vegas without breaking the bank? Well, you're in luck. We've scoured the city and found three hidden gems that serve up delicious dishes at prices your wallet will love. From massive portion sizes to quality ingredients, we're diving into everything you need to know about these budget-friendly spots. That's right. We're talking location, menu highlights, service quality, and of course, taste. Plus, we'll let you in on some unbeatable deals that you can't miss. So, ready to discover some new favorite eats that won't break the bank? Let's go. Welcome to What Happens in Vegas, where today we're all about eating well for less. Craving authentic Thai food that won't break the bank? Welcome to Archie's Thai Cafe. 20 years ago, Archie brought the bold flavors of Thailand to Las Vegas, proving that authentic Thai cuisine could be a hit. Family-owned and operated, Archie's continues to serve the community with love and tradition across four locations. With lunch specials under $15, you can savor delicious meals without breaking the bank. Visit the original location at 9350 West Sahara or their other spots in Henderson, Summerlin, Spring Valley, and Enterprise. Archie's Thai Cafe, where tradition and taste meet. Chicken satay of deliciousness. Well, it certainly looks delicious. It's also the biggest chicken satay I've ever seen in my life. But it's not chicken satay if it doesn't have peanut sauce. It seems thicker than what I'm used to. Chicken. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the sauce, so I was like, poor. <laughs> All right. It kind of looks like they use chicken breast instead of chicken thigh. That's really good. There's nothing wrong with that. I too am trying the chicken sword. Chicken sword. <laughs> For me, it's all about the sauce. It's all right, it's not the best sauce I've ever had, but it's good. So this is one of my favorite things about when you go to chicken satay. They always give you sliced up cucumbers and like a really sweet sauce with some onions. And I love cucumbers and onions. So this lovely creation, the chicken pod see you, it's sissy spice. I'm a sissy. Meaning no spice at all. Now it's all over the table. That's really good. Really, really good. I like it a lot. One thing I'll say about Patsyu, here in Vegas, every Thai restaurant put spices into it. Like you have to tell it what spice level you want. In my entire life, I've never gone to a Thai restaurant where Patsyu had spice. It's always the Pot Ki Mao, which we'll show you in a little bit. But let's take a taste and see how the Pot Si Yu is. I'm gonna get some noodles and chicken. Ooh, that's really good. That's what I thought. <laughs> that's really good. So this is Pot Ki Mao with beef. It's a lot like Pot Si Yu, but it has chilies in it and stuff. Sometimes and also, places call it drunken noodles on the menu. Right drunken noodles and we got this one medium it's $15.99 for this giant plate that we will definitely be taking home with us it smells spicy so here if you get into it <laughs> let's see how this is first of all get a piece of the meat You can taste basil in there. It's so good. It's really tasty. I think the basil is what I can smell well from this way. It's good. My turn for the drunken noodles. Something I don't usually eat because, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a huge sissy, and we don't usually get this in sissy spice. Also, there's lettuce in here, which is kind of strange. <laughs> have you seen it with lettuce in it before? No, I have not. 
All right, I got a beef, I got a noodle. That's aggressively basil-y. I like it a lot. That's really good. Flavor's really good, right? But also sissy spice level. Like there's no, yeah. no heat in there at all. So this is my personal favorite of Thai food, pineapple fried rice. So much so that I've decided that it's the next thing I'm going to learn how to cook. Anyway, it has like raisins and cashews and pineapple and chicken. Also made for sissies. She didn't even ask about spice level for this one. Gotta get a big chunk of pineapple in there. Also, this plate weighs like, if you can weight lift with it, it has so much food on it. The portion sizes are huge. <laughs> Cashew, get some rice. This is really good. A plus. All right, so it's my turn with the pineapple fried of the rice. Very curry tasting. It's really good though. One more bite. So Archie's. Excellent Thai food. Yeah, A plus. Lots of huge portion sizes. So if you're looking for value for your money, that's the way to go um, is, is Archie's. A couple of things. There is not good value in getting a soda while you're here. Don't do that. Because they bring you a can of soda and it's like four bucks. So if you're looking for a bang for your buck, that is not a place to Water. Go. The other thing is pay attention because every dish as listed on the menu is vegetarian and then there's an upcharge for the meat. Yes. So keep that in mind while you're planning. Given that though, I agree with you. The portion sizes are double most other Thai restaurants that we've been to. Well, All right. fantastic. Well, that's Archie's for you. Ready for some finger licking barbecue in Las Vegas? Check out Ellis Island Barbecue. Ellis Island has been a local legend for over 50 years, serving up succulent ribs, juicy smoked chicken, and all of your favorite barbecue sides. Just off the strip, Ellis Island Barbecue offers a friendly atmosphere and flavors that keep you coming back. With generous portions and unbeatable prices, it's the perfect spot for friends, families, and barbecue lovers alike. Head over to Ellis Island Barbecue for a taste experience that's been loved for decades. Ellis Island Barbecue, where great food meets great company. All right, so I have the half rack of ribs. So let's uh, cut one and let's see what it tastes like. Oh, wow. It's very tender. Like I literally pushed down and it cut. <laughs> you didn't even need the knife really. You probably could have done it with a fork. Yep, I'm gonna use the fork to cut it in half. And here we go. Maybe the knife a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> there we go. First bite. If I can get it in my mouth. Mm. That's, that's tender. That's really good. You want to try some of the rib? No. All right. You want to try any of your sides? Mm. That's cooked really well. It's tender but crunchy. Well, he got the ribs, I got the half a chicken. And it still looks like half a chicken. So that's fun. I don't really know, like, I feel like I have to butcher it before I can eat it. Oh man, barbecue sauce all over me. Take it all apart. <laughs> it's quite a good sized chicken. Yeah. And I don't know how to cut my food because I'm an animal, but here we go. 
That's really, really good. Yeah. And then they gave us some like garlic bread and some suspicious beans. I'll taste them even though I don't really like beans. Try your corn. Oh, those are spicy beans. Wow. <laughs> spicy beans. Corn's good, and then there's a big old garlic stick. Alright, so Ellis Island barbecue. Tasty. Extremely inexpensive. Both plates were under twenty dollars. If you get their rewards program before coming here, save you, three bucks. you save three dollars. Um, and apparently if you gamble five dollars, you save an additional two on your meal. Nice. So if you're gonna gamble anyway, I mean why not? My corn was good, my ribs were good. My chicken was good, the corn was okay, the garlic bread was okay. Not bad. But the coleslaw? Don't do it. Wow. I'm not even going to tell you what happened when I opened that up. Mm -mm. But really good food at a reasonable price. Serves quickly because they only cook it once a day. So you have to come early because they will run out. And they're only open from 4 to 10 most days and then I think until 11 on the weekends. So they're in the Ellis Island Casino. If you're looking at the cafe, which is really easy to find, they're to the right inside of the casino. There isn't the, exactly a lot They're in the here. back right corner of the casino. Um, but I definitely recommend. I think this is a, a good place. I'll be back. I will definitely be back to have the, the chicken next time probably just to try it. We'll swap next time. But really good food. I've enjoyed it here. The atmosphere is super quiet. It's not like ringing out and clangy clangy. Um, the service, they keep coming back and checking on our drinks and whatnot. And um, yeah, Ellis Island barbecue. Thumbs up. Looking for the best breakfast and brunch spot in Las Vegas? Welcome to Baby Stacks Cafe. Known for their mouth-watering pancakes, Baby Stacks has been a local favorite for years. With a variety of flavors, from red velvet to banana cream pie, there's something for everyone. Perfect for families, friends, and foodies alike, Baby Stacks offers a cozy, welcoming atmosphere and dishes that you'll crave. Visit one of their convenient locations across Las Vegas and Henderson for a breakfast experience you won't soon forget. Baby Stacks Cafe, stacking up smiles, one pancake at a time. I have a giant stack of carrot cake pancakes with cream cheese syrup, some pecan. I'm assuming they're carrot cake flavored. There are six of them. So left to... <laughs> so much pancake. How much? 16 bucks. Six pancakes. Seems pretty good to me. If you only wanted three pancakes, it was 10 bucks. The only thing I wish they were actually like a stack so that they weren't so, you know, eat pancakes like a stack. I may stack them up. They're not as sweet as they look. They're really good. So I got the piglet omelet. It has ham, bacon, and sausage in it with cheese over the top. Two or three eggs, I can't remember which. And then I got the house potatoes instead of the hash browns. And there's a nice little tiny little orange right here. And then I got a side of chocolate chip pancakes. I upgraded from the buttermilk pancakes. And they're about the same size as her pancakes were. Um, so let's uh, check it out and see how it is. Get a piece that has a lot of meat. I like meat. It's a nice looking omelet. Yeah, it's a really well done omelet. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. And did you want hash browns or seasoned potatoes? Okay. A little egg with your meat. And did you want I like it. A little egg with your meat's right up your alley. Let's try the potatoes. Yeah, they're like, if you've ever been to Eggworks, they're like the Diablo potatoes, only without the spicy seasoning on them. They're really good. Oh, I gotta try these, that's right. Mm. 
These are a heart attack. I'm not a heart attack. Di diabetes walking right here. More so than the carrot cake ones? Yeah, I mean, look at the sugar, the, cr the cream, and the chips. And then this has just regular pancake syrup. It's breakfast dessert. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let's try it. Get the whole experience. Chips, cream, pancake, and syrup. Those are good. Those are really good. Thanks for joining us on this tasty tour of Las Vegas's best budget food spots. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome Las Vegas finds. Don't forget to ring that bell so you never miss an update from us. And if you've tried any of these places, drop us a comment below and let us know about your experience. We'd love to hear your thoughts. See you next time on What Happens in Vegas.